Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI with me, Rock Paper Mario. Now, I didn't show this, but they did say that the path to the north is blocked off, so the only way out of Ikea is to get on this guy's ferry, so I guess we'll hop aboard. Um, you know, trying to get, we're, we're trying to get to Narsh, but I guess South Figaro will do, you know, any old Porsche in a storm. <laughs> The Marino Brothers? I wouldn't even, they don't even make good mouthwash. Nosh is just a stone's throw away. Okay, Mr. Neves. <laughs> I hope the others arrived safely. Well, thanks to me, they did. <laughs> they wouldn't have been able to do it without me. Me hope so too. <laughs> the way he talks, like the script is just like the way they script Isla and Chrono Trigger. It's so funny where she's like, Isla, fight! Big sn what does she say when you leave her in the end of time again? Is she like, say, like, Isla want fight, big nap time here, or something like that? <laughs> something really funny, anyway. The three have reached Nash, and a decisive battle is about to take place. Jeez, you don't know how true, how right you are, Samuel L. Jackson. Oh, well, what's Ban- oh no, not Bannon again. I understand all of it, except... How can we be encouraging bloodshed? I never said that! Can you explain that? I can't explain that. No one can explain that! Ha! He's right, you know. Bannon, what's up with you now? Bannon! 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 Like, Hannon! Our blood will spill because of you. <laughs> what's up with Bannon? <laughs> Emperor Gestalt racing to acquire magic power. He set his sights on the esper that was found here. The increased use of magic power will surely lead to global destruction. <laughs> Jeez, Bannon, you couldn't like talk a bit faster, could you? The War of the Magi. The mythical battle that set mankind back. A thousand years. Can this really be happening? This kind of War of the Match, I think, it always reminds me of Joe in um, Nausicaa Valley of the Wind. Joe, the way that they were talking about like a similar kind of War of the Magi that destroyed everything um, beforehand. It was just really interesting. Oh, Sabin's here. Brother! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And he's brought his new friends with us. Sabin, you're all right. Yeah, that's good. I mean, we haven't seen him since we dumped him off that boat. Who's with you? Well, this is this stuffy old British guy with a sword and this wild child with a mullet. I'm Cyan, retainer to the Lord of Doma. And your worst nightmare! <laughs> go! Go! Shiny, 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 shiny! <laughs> For some reason, Gao was reminding me of, like, <laughs> Beavis from Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> the people of Doma were wiped out by the Empire. Yeah, they all got poisoned. Kefka poisoned everyone. Barbaric! Impossible! Idiotic! Elder. But that was only because Doma was collaborating with the Returners. If we make that mistake... You've got to see where the Elder's coming from here. I mean, all that he... Oh, Locke, shut up. All the Elder knows is that people who collaborate with the Returners have an awful habit of disappearing. So, like, you can understand, like, where he's coming from. Locke! The Empire is poised to attack Narsh right now. What?! <laughs> <laughs> Locke, where do you hear that? Celis here was one of the Empire's generals. Let's just explain this all in 30 seconds in a really fast voice. Gah! I knew she seemed familiar. Sagao, out of my way! <laughs> hey, Sadwalk, get out of my way! So you can't beat up General Celis. This is General Celis. She torched Miranda. She's an Imperial spy. Now stand aside. Step aside, citizen. Wait, she's not a Magitek riding Imperial witch? She's fighting with us now. But, 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 but I promise I'd protect her. I will not back out of my word. Yeah, because Locke said he'd never leave her behind. And you know, like Fiona Apple says, never is a promise. Locke, are you still thinking about that? I don't know, can you explain that? What's that? I, I was also an Imperial soul. Ah, shut up! <laughs> I don't know, I'm sorry, but I just find Terra is the least interesting of any of the characters in this game. Sorry. 
the Empire is evil, but not all of its citizens are. Jeez, Edgar, like, you're always the one who come, who just... Like, it's like Riku in Final Fantasy X. It's like Edgar and Riku, they're always the ones who speak sanity amongst the insanity, seriously. What's this mummy got to do? Emergency! The Empire cometh! <laughs> it's an em <laughs> I'm having too much fun doing this today, seriously. I don't care what you do here! Just get me to this bar! Okay, Kefka, he's a bit impatient, you know, hostile and tolerant. Lord Kefka, there are civilians here! Exterminate! Exterminate! <laughs> like a Dalek. But Narsh is neutral. Idiot! Read my lips! Dispose of any who oppose us! March! Yeah, they're gonna march while you jump around like a jackass. Seriously, Kefka? Well, if Kefka's heading here with his infantry, then that's not a good thing. We really have to make a choice. Let's make ready for war! Yeah, let's crash the airship and take him down with us. They're after that Espar. We moved it into the hills! That was a good idea, if you ask me, Mr. Elder. Then we're going up after it. We'll crash the airship and take him down with us! Locke has a complicated past. I wouldn't go thinking he's fallen for you or something. I'm a soldier, not some love-starved twit. Cold as ice, and willing to sacrifice your love. I the way to just go in single file, it's really funny. So, you were born with the power of magic. Isn't it a lovely gift? You can use magic too? When I was a baby, I was artificially infused with magic and raised as a Magitech knight. That's horrible, seriously. Have you loved anyone? What? What's that supposed to mean? Uh, Celis is a bit taught. I mean, she finds it hard to open up to people a lot of the time. Don't you think for a moment I trust you? Fine. Use your own eyes, then decide. Yeah, you tell him, jeez, Celis. You don't have to prove yourself to anyone. Okay, there's another part here where what's going to happen is we're going to have to pick three parties. Um, first of all, let's talk to Bannon and see what he has to say. Prepare? No, jeez. We'll just save here and find out what's going to happen, okay? Um, what one will I save over? Which one will I save over? Yeah, as you can see, I spent hours on the felt. It was ridiculous. Racing data, okay? Um, yeah, sure. <laughs> so, yeah, what we've got to do is we've got to, like, pick our parishes here. Let's just see what they all say. No, I don't... What are we doing? Okay. Okay, I want to do the equips here, um, quickly. I want to equip... Um, that's what I'll do for the rest of this video. I'm going to do the equips. I want to equip her with the Magus hat. Just because it gives her, like, good magic power. And I want to equip her with the silk robe, which is really useful because it gives her magic power as well. Um, her left hand and right hand are fine. Now, let's talk to... Locke should be fine, as far as I know. I might give him the green one of the green berets I have. Yeah, I'm definitely giving that green, green beret. Um, Kung Fu suit. Yeah... I don't know, I'd like the extra defense, because at the moment he's in the front row, so... I don't know, I really would like the extra defense on Locke. What relics does he have on him? Running shoes and Genji gloves. Okay, I'm going to take off the running shoes, and I'm going to give him the um, black belt, just because it might be handy. Because I want to... What are you talking about? I want to give the um, running shoes to Gao, because the great thing about Gao's rage is that you don't have to select it, so... Um, if you give him the running shoes, then he'll be able to just, um, it's really useful because he'll just be able to rage. I just want to make sure there's nothing important on Terra. No, there's not. Okay, well, that's fine. If you give him the running shoes, he'll just be able to rage as much as he wants, which can be really handy. Okay, Edgar, we want to give him, um, let's give him the last green beret. Okay. And we'll give him iron armor as well. Um, and relics-wise... I think that's good enough for him. Um, a second, what about Celis herself? What did we sort her out yet? I think she's the only one we haven't done anything with. Um, we'll give her the. Okay, we can either give her the Magus hat and have Iron Helmet and have her have better defensive magic defense, 
we can give her the Magis hat and have much... Yeah, I think that's better overall. Body, Iron Armor, I think is grand for the moment. She's not going to be using magic as much as Terra is anyway. Okay, when we've done that, what you want to do is... Well, let's get Terra in here. You want to just make sure that you have all their equips right. And then what you want to do is talk to Bannon. He'll ask you, prepared? Prepare yourself! <laughs> Prepare to cry at the feet of Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah, here he is. Save the Esper from Kefka. Need some info? No, I know already. Okay, we've got to make our parachute. Now, the parachute that we want to fight Kefka with at the end, because spoilers, he's the final boss, is the one that has Celis in it, because she can be really useful. And I'm going to put Gao in that parachute as well, just to show you something useful. And... I'm going to put Locke and Terra in this parachute. And I think on balance... Sabin might be more useful here. And then the third party, I'm going to have Edgar and Cyan. That's probably the best way to go at the moment. Yeah, I think Gao, like, we can't lose against Kefka if we have Gao and Celis in the same party. That's just, it's crazy. Um, I think that's what we're going to go with. They're coming! Okay, this is basically like at the start. Well, am I going to, I'll do some of this in this part anyway. I'll introduce it. Oh ho, it's General Celis, the traitor! How delightful, this'll be fun! Oh, you just had to laugh like a jackass all over again, didn't you, Kefka? Jeez, he's got a lot of troops today, hasn't he? He's got like, what, like six of each of those? Go, get those vile insects! Okay, I'm actually going to pause here, because... Uh, well, I'll go into the menu, because we're actually going to do this in the next part. So I guess I'll see you next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VI with me, Rock Paper Mario. Hope you enjoyed this part.